Does your truck sound like this? Well, it could be your belt, could be your tensioner, could be your idler, your alternator, power steering pump, any of that, if it's starting to make noise. So I'm gonna change the idler right there. And then I'm gonna change the belt too. Figured I'd make a quick video on doing this. First thing we wanna do is make sure that you have got the diagram that's needed for this. If you don't have this, you can actually refer to this. That diagram there shows all the three different engines. And it's pretty much all the same. Let's go ahead and let's get started. This is the part number for the idler. And that is the part number for the belt. Should be able to cross these in Amazon if you want to order them from Amazon. I got these from O'Reilly's. First thing we want to do is remove this cover right here. It's a seven millimeter, or you can use a nine thirty seconds. Next thing we want to do is remove our air intake. Two hose clamps right over here, right over here. They're both five sixteenths. Once you have both of those loose, you can go ahead and disconnect this line. I just get that just out of the way. And you can go ahead and you can remove this. Now with the sensor right here, I just take it, flip it up and over. Now the next thing that we've got to do, we've got to loosen the tensioner up. You can use a regular ratchet. If you've got a long ratchet, that works or you can use a breaker bar. Uh, the problem is that it's down there a ways, kind of hard to get to. So what I did is I made one of these. This is just a piece of rod. I cut off the end of an old extension I had and then I welded it. You can get one of these tools at O'Reilly. You can get it at Advanced Auto. You can get it at AutoZone and it's designed to be able to break that tensioner loose. Let me show you how it's done. I've already replaced the tensioner on this right here. What we need to do is we need to loosen this up and then this belt will come off. I'm gonna take my tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm gonna put that into that little spot. Your 3 8 ratchet or your breaker bar will go into there. And I just wanna make sure it's all the way in. And then you can just move that tensioner over. As you can see, all I'm doing is just moving to the left. I find it's easiest just pull it right off of the alternator. That tensioner will snap back and you can remove your belt. So if you look, you can see all these cracks that are in here. This will make a good spare, but I don't trust this belt if I'm gonna go on a long trip. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. So let's go ahead, let's change out that idler. This right here is your idler. And if you listen, mine's not making any noise, but if you look, the backside is pitted. This particular truck sat for almost two years, and with it being rusty, that might be what's squealing. We're just going to change this quick. It's a 15 millimeter. Now, I've got my new idler right here. This is my old one, like I like to do, so I like to compare them. That looks pretty good. Now on the back side of the old idler, there is a small washer. I just find if you hold on to the washer and then back that out, as you can see, that comes right off. There is a washer on the back side. You can also see that the teeth are on here. This is how this rides. I wanna make sure all this stuff stays together. So this washer that is on the back side, those teeth right there are gonna go to the inside. We're good to go, we can go ahead and install. Once again, this thing sat for a while, so I'm gonna actually clean this water pump up. All right, so all I did was take my wire brush and my drill and just clean that surface up. Rib sides are fine, you've got some grip, but down here, this is the back side, along with the idler, those are the only ones that have the back side of the belt, and that's typically what squeals. So let's go ahead, let's put everything back together. Your idler, put it back in. Not sure the torque specs, I'm gonna give it one ooga dooga. Ooga dooga. Now using the diagram, you can go ahead and put the belt on. I have a four liter, so that is what I'm using. 
2.3 liter is a four cylinder, three liter is a V6, four liter is a V6. I like to feed it around the crank first. Once it's around the crank, you can go ahead and go around the water pump, go around the AC compressor, goes around the power steering pump, down around the bottom side of the idler, and you can go around the tensioner. And at this point here, we need to move the tensioner so we can do this, but we want to make sure all the ribs are down where they need to be from the crankshaft to the AC compressor to the power steering pump and the tensioner. If not, it's just a big pain in the butt. Using my homemade tool, and then what you want to do is move it to the left, open that up, make sure it goes around the alternator, make sure it goes around the idler, and that's good. Double check to make sure everything is around because you don't want to have it spit off of a rib because you'll either spit it off or you won't catch it, and then what happens is you end up prematurely killing the belt. So like I said, make sure that it goes around the idler, around the alternator, around the tensioner, around your power steering pump, make sure it's sitting inside, go around your AC compressor, make sure it goes around your crankshaft, which is all the way down there, make sure it goes around your water pump, and then we should be good. At this point, we can put on our air intake. Once you got the intake on, go ahead and take your PCB and put it right back into the air intake. At this point, we can go ahead and we can put back on our throttle body cover. All right, everything is good. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up, see if I hear any squealing. Always at this point, I wanna make sure that everything is riding inside the ribs. Guys, I can't stress that enough. Make sure everything is riding inside the ribs. Well, as you saw, everything is riding in the ribs. That's what we want, and I don't hear any more noise. So now we have the belt replaced. What I'm gonna do with the old belt is I'm gonna put it back into the sleeve that the new one came in. Does two things. Number one, is gonna keep it wrapped up. Number two, is gonna tell me what belt that I need just in case I decide to break another one. I'm also gonna take the tool that I made and I'm gonna put that in with the belt. I'm just gonna put it in with the jack. Thanks a bunch for watching. If this helped you out, give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. Helps me do some fun things with the channel. Have a good night, safe motoring, be good.